All right, everyone. Uh, we meant to do this a couple weeks ago, back when the movie first came out. But tonight, me and my wife, here she is, are going to talk about Star Wars Rogue One. Um, now, Rogue One is not part of the new trilogy, as we all know. It's a separate story that takes place between episodes 3 and 4. And it concentrates on how Princess Leia acquired the Death Star plans. And it also um, fills in some of the holes from uh, the A New Hope had. Like some of the plot holes. Which, um, in fact, it goes into a lot of detail. I can't even remember all the details because it's been a, a couple weeks since we saw the movie. But the movie starts out with this chick. What's her name? Her name is Jen. Jen what? Or, just... <laughs> Urso. Her name is Jen. Don't, I don't think that's the right <laughs> yes, name. Yes, it is. Her name is Jen Urso. And her, what did you pull it up, put up on your phone? I did. See, I told you. Her dad is Galen Urso, and he is a bad guy weapon maker. And Jen is his daughter, and then she meets Cassie, and, and then they go and do all the stuff. Yeah, anyway, her dad uh, d deliberately designs a loophole in the Death Star, which is the exhaust port that Luke fires his torpedoes into and blows it up at the end of A New Hope. And, um... <laughs> no, it's just, it's ridiculous. Okay, listen, here's, here's the issue that I have. Um, apparently to real Star Wars fans, you can't refer to this movie as three and a half. And it upsets me that there was a movie like The New Hope or something that started in the 70s with no one knowing how anybody got the plans to this Death Star. And then they created three more movies and then like three more movies like a long time later. And then like another movie and now like a half movie. And so I just don't, I don't know. I just think it's, there's issues with me on how... <laughs> On why people follow this whole thing that no one ever knew how it started in the first place. Anyways, I'm really glad that everyone got clarification. Okay, so tell us about the order of the films, Brittany. The order, the for, the films that was four, five, and six, and then one, two, and three, and then there's also seven, <laughs> which came out recently. And this is not eight; it's three and a half because that's what. You said I had to call it. <laughs> I didn't say she had to call it that at all. Oh. All right. Wait a minute. Okay, which one had the Jedi's? Like <laughs> the Jedi's are in every damn one of them. No, you except said for that uh, the Rogue Jedi's One. Died. Really? They did die. <laughs> or, or, or Anakin. Well, once he became Darth Vader, killed them off in Episode Three. The babies. Well, they were kids. Yeah. All well, them. all of them. Well, they did. They or they executed Order Sixty Six, and the clone troopers started shooting them down, and then Anakin killed all the kids. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah, okay. So, if all the Jedis are dead, then why are people still trying to fight? Wouldn't all the hope be gone? Well, it's Obi... No, bad. that's about the Rebellion, not the Jedis. <laughs> I don't like this at all. So, the Rebellion is, is uh, the Padme. No, the, the Padme was before the Rebellion. <laughs> I just get really confused. Okay, so what was your favorite part about Rogue One? This is supposed to be Oh, the Rogue best one. part about Rogue One's last five minutes when Darth Vader goes on the killing spree. That was the best part when he just started like he started slaying down uh, uh all those uh, rebel <laughs> rebel Shut troopers. Up, John Belford, it's not my fault. I do like the movies. I like the movies so much. I want to watch all the movies. I like action movies. Is it funny how Chad has a co-host that doesn't appear in this video because the videos always face that chat? Listen, I really, really like Star Wars. I'm just confused. Okay. Um, anyway, and then, and then of course, we see uh, Princess Leia get the plans at the end, and that's great. Uh, you also see... Uh, uh, stormtroopers and a bunch of other uh, different troopers and this is a thing that always goes on with Star Wars is you see one kind of trooper or stormtrooper whatever in one movie and then you'll never see it again like in uh, Empire Strikes Back you don't see the snow troopers anymore and and there's different kinds of clone troopers and this one had like I think it's called the death troopers the black ones you don't see them anymore and uh so please go <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> he's dramatic 
and we, we see some of the the AT-ATs and we see some familiar ships, see some new ones. But it's really cool because they did a good job of making it feel like, um, you know, like, uh, like a new hope. Where did they get the money for all this stuff, though? Like... All those little satellites that flew out of like the circle with the little shield in it, and like those things. She's talking came out about the Tie Fighters coming out of the Death <laughs> so, Star. Like you said that this was like a long, long time ago. Yeah. And that's the only reference that we have. But like it's way before now, though, right? So like, mm -hmm. in reality, would civilization have diminished since? It's then? not on Earth. How did they get the money? What do they use for money? How do you build all this stuff? I'm just going to build a Death Star. He didn't have to take out a loan for it. Or something. There's just like a, imperial credits or something. Like, they have endless called. funds and endless means. They have armies on every planet. This is, it's just, it's impractical. Yeah, tell us about uh, some more of the <laughs> ships and some more of the, the things. I don't know. I don't know. I know that there's camels. And some have, two, some have two legs and some have four legs. She's talking about the at ats at and <laughs> Oh, I don't know. So let's talk about some of the characters, Brittany. What about the characters? There's all kinds of characters. Tell us about uh, uh, Luke. Luke kisses his sister. That's gross. Let's tell us some more about Luke. I don't know. Luke is... <laughs> Uh, Leia's brother, and I think he's in four, five, and six. Is that right? Yeah, and he's okay. also in another one. Eight, three and a half. I don't seven. Oh, okay, seven. Oh, there is an eight. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know anything else about. Is he? Does he kill Vader in the end? Which is also somewhat. In the beginning. He be, he beats. Yeah, Vader kind of dies from some injuries sustained. Other people's names doesn't. The, well, my question is, what's uh, is Han Solo still alive or is Boba Fett still alive? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Boba Fett's still alive if uh, in the expanded He's in the universe. Glass. No, that's Han He's Solo's in. in the, he, that's Han Solo's frozen <laughs> in carbonite. In ice cubes. No. So which one? So At least you one? haven't. You should have heard me trying to explain to her the order of Star Wars. Like it was just insane. So we talk about Rogue One. So this one's Episode what? Seven? Like no, there's Episode Seven. What? There's another one. I mean, so Chad does make people confused. He doesn't have any patience for anyone. Thank you. Um, no, I just I really like the movies. I really like getting into this series. I had just seen all these movies about like six years ago and I'm really enjoying getting back into it. I think my favorite part, I was a little disappointed that, that Jen and Cassian couldn't live because they were in love and that would have been fair and life is not fair. But if they would have lived, then where were they at during episode four and Where five? were the writers at whenever they should have been making this back in like the 70s, whenever we had questions that wanted to be answered then? They, those people had to die. Everybody on the whole planet had to die. Their know. lives. They had to stop right there. There's just too many holes. No, that movie fixed a lot of holes now. Yeah, but like 30 years later, and all these fans are so loyal still. Yeah. Tell us about Chewbacca. I don't know what episodes he was in. He's just the big hairy guy. He didn't really do... Or was he a Jedi? <laughs> oh, shit, he wasn't a Jedi. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's stupid that Bar Jar Jar Binks isn't in him anymore. He was diplomatic. Jar Jar Binks was a sack of shit. So was the sack of shit that had Princess Leia held hostage, but he was in a whole movie. Darth Vader? No, the fat one. The whole saga's one. about Darth Vader. No. He's the awesome. No. Oh, jo oh, Jabba the Hutt? Yeah. Jabba was way cooler than Jar Jar Binks. It doesn't matter. That's personal opinion. I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. Make Brit talk about... Ew. Ew. I so don't have one of those. But Chad says that it's only guys. What? <laughs> what? What else am I supposed to say? Okay, so let's see. What else are we going to talk about? So I don't know. Tell us. Um, you said that your favorite part of the whole movie was when Darth Vader slayed everyone, which apparently it also took him 30 years to do. No, that was before the other ones. This one comes in right before New Hope. Like, whenever they hand Leia the Death Star plans... 
then a new hope the original star wars in that 977 <laughs> that's when that kicks off okay i don't know <laughs> so why haven't we went back and watched uh these we haven't went back and watched all the movies because one day chad was trying to get me to watch hellraiser and he lost our blue Pinhead red up there <laughs> i'm betting. he lost the entire hellraiser box set that he had and, and our blu-ray remote and now we can't watch any blu-rays at all or dvds or dvds it's just yeah. horrible he won't look for them he really? won't look for his wedding speaking ring. of hellraiser there's also my puzzle box replica that's pretty wicked Nobody cares about a puzzle box. That's yeah. Scary. Well, do we have anything else to talk about? Your Star Wars cars. Oh God, she wanted me to hang these up, but this attic has a bunch of paneling. For my stocking stuffer was uh these Star Wars Hot Wheels, and they're pretty neat, and they're they're all it's a eight car set, and they're named after the planets. I don't know what this one's name is from Jakku, but. I know that that's a bad ship that moves slow because that's what I have to use in Monopoly because the Chad makes me. And Endor is where, is that where Yoda's people are from? No, that's the Shit. Ewoks. This is where Yoda's people are from. That's where Yoda's from. Okay, and B-Spin. <laughs> I'm glad you said, I mean, this way <laughs> Arya can explain Star Wars better than Britney. No, okay, so B-Spin. Best spin. Is a city. Yeah. Is it important? It is in... Yeah, we're all important. There is a camel. AT AT. And AT and T. Tatooine is from Anakin is from. Yep. That is where Darth Vader has dinner on Sundays. No, it's where him and Obi Wan fought in Episode and Three. And that is where they make the clones. Yep. All right. So if you this was a <laughs> test, uh, <laughs> Belford, but it, Brittany equals poor ratings. <laughs> so if this was a test and there's eight cars. I think she would have failed it. <laughs> well, anyway, I know we said this is going to be a Rogue One review, and we've really not talked a whole lot about it, but this is my show, so <laughs> I'll do what I want. Anyway, I guess we're going to head off here. I was put up to this. No, you weren't. I told well, I told her when we were originally explaining it, because believe me, it was by far worse of a train wreck than what you saw tonight. It was like trying to teach one of the pugs algebra that was really mean yeah nobody it? laughed at that though yeah they did <laughs> um anyway we're um we're gonna get off here and hopefully we can get this blu-ray player working again and find the remote and get it back up to speed get and get her back up to speed on this so that whenever episode eight comes out she doesn't think that it you know, it's really like episode negative six or something. <laughs> yeah. Extreme close up. Stop. <laughs> oh, that's not cool. Be done. <laughs>